you know. I thought I had heat in them. And I went off at the corkscrew and could not get the car refired. Well, Laguna Seca is an iconic track. Um, the last time I raced there was in 1986. Uh, back then, the track was different. They changed the layout since then. So about two thirds of the track I, I know and I, I'll remember, but I'll have to learn a new segment that goes in the infield. Don't even touch the brake. And you gotta read like certain, like as you're going through a corner, think about, is anyone gonna even attempt passing me here? Yeah. No, they're not. So the entry of the corner, you can kind of give up to get an exit, like if it's a little short shoot after, give up the entry to get a good exit off. But uh, this weekend I'm running two cars. Uh, our number five Trans Am car that we've been running, we rode, ran at Road Atlanta uh, a month ago, and we also ran Poncho Weaver's car at uh, Sebring. So uh, we've thrown another car into the mix here. We're, we've contracted with uh, Stevens Miller to run their TA2 Challenger. Um, we just wanted to get more seat time. We hadn't been here, like I said, since 1986 and wanted to get um, some more track time so we could learn the track so we'd be more on top of our game when we hopped in the Trans Am car. How are you doing? Good. I mean, I went three seconds faster and I only gained three spots. So we qualify now Yes. and then I'm, I'll hop in that, I think. What's going on with that? I don't know. See, there's water. I don't know what they're doing. But there's a lot of smart people over there. I was going to say, you got some good brains yeah. on, the, on the job. So, I'm away with that part. And, and really, you know, um, what I do on a race weekend, I bring three driver suits, you know. You add them up over the years, you know, you still got the one you used three years ago. But that's usually the hottest suit that you have, the thickest suit that you have. And I, I like to start with no uh, driver aids as far as cooling is concerned. No cool suit, no drink tube, no helmet, vent, nothing. I like to start as hot as I can get it the first day of practice and, and work through that first day. And then the next day it gets more serious. You've got, you're not practicing anymore. Um, your last practice, they're, they're timing it and that determines on where you're gonna start for qualifying. They got water in the car. Do you want some? Saturday morning, Laguna Seca, We've got a little June gloom going on in April, um, so it's cold, which is good. It'll burn off here in a minute and kind of warm things up, but boy, engines like to make power in this kind of environment. You know, it's real moist, cold, dense air, makes a lot of horsepower. You know, 
That's all we need is more power with the TA car. So the game plan today is we've got a, a, our final practice session in the TA car this morning. Um, we made some gear changes. Uh, basically, we changed what they call the drop gear, which actually uh, makes the uh, every gear ratio in the gearbox taller. We were uh, on the uh, rev limiter in several places, including the maximum speed areas where you know we're flat out in fifth gear. So we needed to make things taller so we could go a little faster and get some better lap times. Uh, we are like the only car that did not improve the second half of our practice session yesterday. That's, that's because we had gone as far as we could go. Um, everybody else improved, okay. so. Don't just dive for the curb. Oh, yeah. You know, make yeah, it, course. get back to like the middle of the road before you turn down. Where that patch is. Yeah, you gotta, you know, you don't need to get all the way to the right, but most people just get in, they dive, they dive right yeah, to the Yeah, that's curb. what I was doing. We ran the TA2 race, started 30th and finished uh, 16th. So not a scratch on the car. And so I'll take that, you know. Um, the, we ran 100 miles, it seemed like an hour and a half, at least, it was at least an hour and 15 minutes. We know that for sure. So, hey, whenever you survive a, a TA2 race and without a scratch, that's a big deal because half the field gets taken out, it seems like. The guys are just, you know, it's a up and coming class. It's a ladder class. If you do well in that class, you could get signed by a NASCAR team. So there's a lot of hungry people out there trying to be successful. in the uh, Trans Am car to qualify today. Um, you know, the weather changes here like instantly. It was beautiful and sunny. And uh, naturally for our qualifying session, the clouds roll in and it starts misting. So, you know, temperature dropped 20 degrees. So, and so did the track temperature. So with these Pirelli tires, you, you've got to get heat in them and uh, you know, I thought I had heat in them, and I went off at the corkscrew and could not get the car refired. Uh, once, once I did, it didn't run right, so we wasted more time. You only get 15 minutes in qualifying, so if you have a problem, you really putting yourself behind the eight ball and that's exactly what I did. It's on me. I, you know, it was a driver error. I thought we were good to go and we weren't. And uh, once we got the car running again, we, we made a, an okay time, but you know, it certainly wasn't gonna be good enough. So, so you know, we're gonna be starting, you know, in the back of the field, kind of like the TA2 car. Maybe, maybe there's a, a blessing in the skies there. So, you know, well, it's a long race, it's 100 miles, 70 minutes, uh, car's really fast, we'll have plenty of time.
All right, it's race day, it's Sunday. Beautiful day at Laguna Seca. It's, the air is cool, but the sun's out. It's just a perfect day uh, for motor racing, to quote Jackie Stewart. trouble um, from the very beginning you know my brakes brakes went soft after like seven eight laps I wish I had a better view. Like Dyson's view. I knew where I was strong and I just blocked the lane that so he couldn't come up the inside. If you're gonna pass it, you're gonna have to go on the outside. There was a slow car and I, we went side by side. I split them because I got more power. I come over the hill and there's a car right there. Oh I my just God. almost clobbered him. Speaking of that, Trans Am National, he was on the podium yesterday. I think all he has left to do is try the GT series. He's done SGT, XGT, TA. Yesterday he did TA2 for the first time. Let's hear it for Ken Twait, Masters TA. FranklinRoad.com, this beautiful shirt that I'm wearing. This Thank you. Slim, Thanks. I might add. You can buy it at FranklinRoad.com. And now you just cannot figure out how to get away from Eric Joyner. Yeah, I know. It was an all too familiar sight, you know. Out, out my windshield, there, his ass was out there. So I hate seeing that. You know, I like to thank my crew. I really let him down in qualifying yesterday. We sucked. Um, so I had to do something and we ended up finishing fifth in TA. I thought I'd get a top five sooner or later. I didn't think it was going to come this soon. So thanks for everybody. Thanks for all your help. And I'll, I'll take it. All right, man. End of the day, end of the weekend. Cars in one piece. We started 13th, finished fifth, baby. So I'll take it. Uh, you know, I was just hoping for a, a good result. I didn't expect fifth, that's for sure. I, I wanted to be top five this year. Um, and here it's the third race of this car and, and we're top, you know, we're fifth. So it's pretty awesome. Had brake trouble um, from the very beginning, you know, my brakes, brakes went soft after like seven, eight laps. Had to pump them up and, you know, but I wasn't coming in. I was just going to keep going. These guys work really hard to get this car ready and, and get it going. 
I had a poor qualifying result. You know, it was my mistake. So it was on me today, man. I had to deliver the goods for everybody for all the hard work. And you know what? It just paid off. It's just awesome. Great race. Kudos to Boris. We brought him out here um, and Pancho Weaver's car from North Carolina. He won the race. So I'll take it. Great result. Great weekend. Way to go. He saved everything. He saved everything. It was awesome. It wasn't bad. Fast. He says, I'm not going to be bad fast off the start. I'm just going to cruise and save my tires and hope for a yellow. And that's We got happened. it. Right when that yellow came, we were like, oh, yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. they had like 14 seconds on. I mean, he had brakes the whole race. I had I had nothing after eight this laps. Thing is killer <laughs> but you got to buy a new car to get it to work. Yeah, that's I know. Thing. It's going to happen someday. Some, someday, you, this is just well, if you, this is just a learning curve for you. If you learn, and then, and if then, you learn how to do then, the math, you I'll have do, to take I'll do erase, the erase the number in front. I'll do the, and I'll change do the math it. with you. I'll do the math with you. I got no problem with that. <laughs> yeah.